what's the procedure on a night when they go on patrol? So if you see a turtle, what would be the procedure? Of the okay, so we want to start to collect the eggs. So we can collect the eggs in the moment that the, we, we can dig a hole behind the chamber and collect the eggs in the in the red moment when the turtle is throwing the eggs. Yeah. Or just wait with the turtle uh, ends to open the chamber and take the eggs out. We finished to collect the eggs. We, we took some the sides of the of the chamber, how, how deep is the width to copy the, the shape in the hatchery. Right. Okay? To try to respect the yeah. So other thing that we do is, is mark the point with GPS where the turtle uh, lay the eggs to do maps in the end of the season to, to check what are the favorite areas, mm -hmm. where we're at, what areas we, we got more more turtles. Yeah. I mean this this swamp is the area where we found the baby caimans. So it's a good it's a good place to teach the volunteers about the biology of caimans because the little ones are really easy to handling. So and so we, we catch the caimans here and we tag the, the animal just cutting, doing it like a little cuts in the in the tail here in the night. So we prefer to come down when there's like a new moon that's really dark. Mm -hmm. So because it's, it's, it's easy for us to catch them because with, with moonlight they, they can see us easily. So the idea is we're here with the babies and we mark the, the point with GPS. So and we, we come down to the river too. So if we found a, a, a croc, we, we, we try to, to estimate the size just with the size of the head and the, 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 the eyes. And for us, the important thing is, is do the maps, mark the GPS points, try to, to, to show to the authority that we have caimans here and we have crocs in the other side. So to try to protect this because this is public. This is I'm down, breakfast is waiting for me. There's coffee, there's whatever I tour is prepared. Here's our, our cook. Um, we go out on the river for a few hours, depends on the day. Um, either we're going out and working on water testing or we're setting up cameras for the Otter Project. And uh, we come back close to midday, as it gets pretty hot, and then lunch is waiting, which is always something else. It's kind of exciting. I, I eat everything, so it's good. Good food? Yeah, uh, I, love, I love our cook. <laughs> um, and then uh, you get some downtime for a little bit. You can hang out, read, go to the beach, and then in the afternoon we'll set off again. You either go back to the river, um, kind of depends what's going on. You can do it. We're, we're working on the Cayman project, then we'll, we'll hang out in the afternoon and we go out in the evening after dinner. Um, then uh, sometimes there's, there's work to be done in the actual reserve itself. We have to analyze the samples we've collected in the lab, which can be actually a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, there's always kind of people coming by and new things going on, new animals being spotted. Mm -hmm. So John, just, um, if you just want to tell us about the sort of projects you've been involved in since you've been here? Well, with their Cayman project. So we were out looking for caimans and they mark them and track them and measure them and um, the, with the goal of ultimately evaluating how they're, how they're maturing. They were little baby caimans, how they're maturing and what's happening with the population. So that was really interesting. Yeah, and so it's good to come on a project like this with your son as well. You think it's, it's a, been great. It's a good it's a I think it, that's suitable for all ages then. Absolutely. I mean, I think he's got, I know he's gotten a lot out of it and um, I think it's a great thing to do whether as a family, certainly could do it with more than just father, son, or mother, daughter, but as a family. Um, and they are very eager to have everybody involved. So they're, with a teenage, with a teenager, I don't think they're inhibited in any way in terms of what they could do uh, on any of the projects that I've been involved in to right. this point. I think it's been interesting for, uh, from two perspectives. One is the projects, and the other is that unlike a typical holiday break, vacation, it's, you really have the ability to immerse yourself in a little cocoon of a culture here. And that's really interesting. So as much as it's been interesting from the standpoint of the environmental work, the service work, it's been equally interesting just to be part, for even for a few days, of this little community, to walk down the streets and to see how people live and to get a sense of, of a lifestyle, frankly, that's so different than uh, than the lifestyle that we live in. So I think to me that as much as the as much as the environmental pieces that's mm. equally uh, uh, memorable. Mm.